using a reference triangle to find ratios and angles. Recently in pre-calculus class, I ran across these types of problems like this one. An exercise of 1 through 4, evaluate without using a calculator, use the Pythagorean identities rather than reference triangles. And so I decided to see what these would look like solved using, instead of not using, reference triangles. So that's a difference. We're going to use reference triangles and also also, we're going to find the angle theta. Find theta. Okay, so to use reference triangles, we need to understand the basic unit circle of trigonometry and particularly the signs of each of the trigonometric ratios. In quadrant one, we, we have a mnemonic device called all in quadrant one, students in quadrant two, take in quadrant three, and calculus in quadrant four. And all stands for all trigonometric ratios are positive. I'm going to put T R I G are greater than zero. All trigonometric ratios greater than zero. And students in quadrant two is going to be for sine is going to be greater than zero. Tangent and, co and uh, cosine negative. In quadrant three, take stands for a tangent of, a, of an angle in quadrant three is greater than zero or positive. In quadrant four, calculus cosine is greater than zero. Sine and tangent are both negative in quadrant four. And going back to problem one, find sine, sine theta and cosine theta if tangent theta is three-fourths and sine theta is greater than zero. Well, for tangent to be three-fourths, tangent is going to be positive in quadrant one and in quadrant three, and sine is greater than zero. And so we're dealing with quadrant one right here. So going back and make our drawing of our triangle, which we're going to use a reference triangle, we're going to restrict ourselves to quadrant one. And evaluating an angle, we have an initial side and a terminal side. And our initial side is going to be along the x-axis. So I'm going to call this init side for initial side. And a terminal side is where the angle ends or goes up to. And so just drawing, this isn't going to be necessarily accurate, dimensionally accurate. This is our terminal side. So I'll put terminal side right here. And we have our, we have our tangent is 3 over 4. And that means rise over run is 3 over 4. And so your height of this reference triangle is going to be 3. So 3. And that's going to be our opposite side of this triangle. And 4 is going to be our adjacent side. And the last thing we need to find is the hypotenuse. So I'll put hypotenuse. And so the most famous equation in mathematics is probably the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And for A and B, we have 3 and 4 respectively. So we have 3 squared plus 4 squared equals C squared. 25 is equal to C squared. C is the square root of 25, which is 5. And if you're familiar with the 3, 4, 5 right triangle, this isn't going to be any big mystery to you, is it? And so uh, to find the sine and the cosine, well, the sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. I have a mnemonic device called some old hippie, all right? Sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. 
in which case is going to be 3 over 5. So that's going to be our sine theta. And our cosine theta. Cosine theta equals adjacent. Caught another hippie. Equals 4 fifths. Our hypotenuse is 5. Our adjacent is 4. That's cosine theta. And then uh, finally to find the angle theta, we're going to find theta. Uh, theta is going to be equal to the inverse tangent. We could have used inverse sine, inverse cosine. We're going to keep with our original ratio. Go to our calculator. We see that we're in degrees already. Escape. Get a calculator page. Go to where's the trig button, and we go down to trig negative one, which is means the inverse. Oops, I don't want the sign. I don't want the tab. Let's go back inside here. We press control and division. We're gonna get three over four, and we get oops syntax. I didn't put anything in here for some reason. 3 over 4, there we go. Press enter. We get 36.8699 degrees. And even though this is out to four decimal places, this is still an irrational number, so even as a matter of technicality, this is still not 100% correct. I mean, not 100% accurate. Not an exact answer, rounded. Okay, and then uh, if we go look at problem two, find secant theta and cosecant theta if tangent theta is 3 and cosine of theta is greater than 0. You can pause the video and, and just try to solve this. I'm going to have a solution on the next slide here. Okay, here's the solution all worked out. You have, we have a reference triangle, opposite of 3, adjacent of 1. Uh, using Pythagorean theorem, we get a hypotenuse of square root of 10. And we're able to go and work out and find what the secant of theta is square root of 10, and the cosecant theta is square root of 10 over 3. And uh, theta measures 76.5651 degrees. Now problem three, find tangent theta and cotangent theta of secant theta is four and sine theta is less than zero. Okay, if secant cosine equals reciprocal of secant theta, which in this case secant is four, so cosine theta is one fourth and the sine theta is less than zero. So if we go back to our unit circle, we see if cosine theta is one-fourth and sine theta is negative, we're talking about quadrant four down here. That's what we're going to use for problem number three. So going back to problem three, We'll make a little drawing so we can make our reference triangle in quadrant four. And there's our little triangle. And if we have our cosine of one-fourth, that's going to be our adjacent. And we're going to have some angle that comes down here in quadrant four. Okay, there it is and purple, and their opposite side is going to be right over here. This is vertical. Okay. This is going to be our opposite. We don't know what our opposite is yet. And our theta is not going to be this x that I'm drawing in here, but is rather going to be the measure of the angle. And this is our initial side that I'm now uh, labeling here to the, to the right. And our terminal side is down here of our angle. And our measure of our angle is going to be this counterclockwise rotation 
from the initial side to our terminal side. So in using a reference triangle, if we find what x is, we're going to need to subtract x from 360. So, so theta is going to be equal to 360 degrees minus our measure of angle x. Okay, we have uh, our adjacent is one fourth, and in this unit circle here, the case unit circle, we have our hypotenuse is is equal to one. And so, using the Pythagorean theorem, we have a squared, which is going to be one fourth squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, which is one squared. And 1 4 squared is going to be 1 over, what is 4 squared? 16. So 1 16th plus b squared equals 1. And 1 we're going to rewrite in 16ths as 16 over 16. Now to solve for b squared, we're going to subtract 1 16th from both sides. We have a cancellation here. b squared is equal to. 16 sixteenths minus 1 sixteenth is going to be 15 sixteenths. And so B is going to be, we take the square root of both sides, plus or minus, what is the square root of 15? Well, it's just going to be square root of 15. And what's the square root of 16? 4. And we know that we're going down. And so that means we're going to eliminate our positive answer. Remember, sine is going to be less than 0. So we have negative square root of 15 over 4. So that's going to be sine of theta. And to find the tangent, tangent, tangent theta equals sine theta over cosine theta. Therefore, in our instance here, we know what sine and cosine are, so tangent theta is going to be equal to negative square root of 15 over 4 divided by our cosine, which is 1 fourth. And if we divide by a fraction, we can multiply by the reciprocal of that fraction. So we're going to bring this over, get negative square root of 15 over 4 times 4 over 1. Instead of divided by 1 over 4, we have cancellation. So tangent theta is equal to uh, negative square root of 15. And cotangent theta is equal to the reciprocal of tangent, so cotangent theta is going to be negative 1 over square root of 15. And if we rationalize our denominator and multiply both the numerator and denominator by square root of 15, we're going to get negative square root of 15 over 15. So that's tangent theta here and cotangent theta down here. And the last thing we're going to do is find out what our angle is, our angle is going to be, remember, we have 360 degrees minus x. Well, x is going to be equal to um, inverse, which one are we going to use? We'll use a sine, right? Inverse sine. Let me just write that in there equals sine negative 1 of, we have negative square root of 15 over 4. So x equals, we go here, sine, we get our fraction get negative square root of 15 over 4. We get negative
is 75.5225. degrees. And to find our, our angle, what theta is, we're going to have 360 minus x, and that's actually going to be added because we went negative here. And so if we take uh, 360 plus, we're going to get ANS control, negative sign, we get uh, 284.478 degrees. Okay, so that's going to be number three worked out. Now here's problem number four. We have find sine theta and tangent theta if cosine theta equals uh, 0 0.8 and tangent theta is less than 0. Uh, I want to give you one clue. Cosine theta, we can rewrite as a fraction. 0 0.8 is going to be 4 fifths. And I invite you to pause this video and work it out and then just go ahead to see if you got this right. Okay, here's problem 4 all worked out. We have a, in this one it's similar to problem 3, we have a tangent theta of negative three-fourths, a sine theta of, of negative three-fifths, and our theta going around the outside is 323.13 degrees. So again, I hope this has been helpful to you, and good luck. Thank you for viewing.